Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this uh, Skyrim money making guide. It's pretty easy, it requires no skill whatsoever really. Um, just a few enchantments and some iron ore. So, first off, um, you need to head to a shop or, um, or a smith and buy as much iron ore and as, and as many iron ingots as you can from the, from the vendor. Um, and once you have collected as much as you can, um, you can buy yourself some leather. Now, uh, for the iron, you know, get as much iron ore and as, mu as many iron ingots, like I said, because we can smelt the iron ore later. Um, and you can get iron ingots from both, um, you know, smiths or shops, from all, all from around. And the leather you'll need, either buy the leather there, or go and hunt down a beast of the wild and slay it for its leather the old-fashioned way but that takes time so just buy it from the shop much easier that way now uh, we've got our materials our raw materials head to a smelting pot thingy smelter um, and uh, just click on misc and then go down to your iron ore and turn it into iron ingots and of course if you've got anything else um, anything else you need smelting just do that and just whack them all in there just click away or whatever it is on console until you have created as many iron ingots to add to the ones that you bought from the shop um, I've also got some some silver there which I can add just because it's there now uh, we've got our iron and we've got our leather uh, if you bought leather pieces as opposed to strips you need to just strip them off on the um, on the rack but that takes no much great. time at all um, so we're going to head over to the smithing area um, you need to find the, the forge which is an anvil or one of these big pots of fire and you want to go to iron and then you want to head down to the iron dagger now this is a really great way because this actually trains up your smithing skill loads by doing this so you get you know really good XP um, and you also make m lots of money now uh, daggers are the best because they only require one bit of leather and one bit of iron. So I've got 30, you can see there, and I'm just going to bung them all in there and make myself 30 iron daggers. And if you watch my skill bar at the bottom right, you can see that I go up multiple levels just making a bunch of iron daggers. So this is also a really good way of leveling up your smithing if that's something that you're interested in doing. But this is a uh, this is a money making guide. So this is actually going to be about how to get the most money out of this technique. Now, we've got our daggers. Um, you need to, well, it, it will put a lot of weight onto your person. So if you can't, you know, run, if you become over encumbered, um, give them to your mate if you've got a mate and let him carry them so you can fast travel because we're going to need to do some fast traveling soon. So if you've got a friend, give them as many daggers as you can as he can carry and if you don't have a friend it might be a wise idea to stop off at your house or wherever it is and drop off as much gear as you can so you're free of weight now you need to travel to an enchanting station um, there's one in the college well there's several in the college of winterhold I know that there's one there's you know usually one in the Jarl's palace in many different cities where there's one fairly easy one to find in Whiterun in the Jarl's Palace there so if you don't know just head to uh, Whiterun um, if not I go to the Archmage's Quarter because this is actually where I'm living I'm a bit of a scabby bastard um, and we need to en enchant these daggers so um, for this it's going to require daggers which we've got many of us because we just we've just made our daggers we're also going to need uh, a few other components and I'm going to go through this now it's not difficult and it's also not costly so First of all, we're going to need the item. The item is the st the iron dagger. So you go on item, click on your iron dagger there. Um, next, we're going to need an enchantment. Now, to get enchantments, you need to disenchant enchanted items. So you can either buy an enchanted item, or uh, if you've played for very long, I'm sure you guys will have some form of enchanted item that you're probably not using, or perhaps it's not that effective, and you just don't really use it. If you've got any of those, best thing to do is bring it to an enchanter and click on disenchant and click on the item and it will break it down and add that enchantment permanently to your enchantments list so um what you're going to need is your your item like i said the uh, dagger the enchantment now i've got plenty of enchantments um, and because again this is a money making guide what the best way to find out how much money each one is going to make is click on the enchantment and then hit enter maximum points and that's going to be the value now just do this for you know all of your enchantments and find out which is the most valuable enchantment 
Um, for me, I know it's Absorb Health. That's that's the best one that I can enchant a weapon with at 842 value at its max. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. So we've got our dagger, we've got our enchantment. Now we need the soul gem. Now you can find soul gems everywhere. Charging them with souls is a little trickier. Um, I'm not going to go into it because it's a little more complex, but it's not difficult. Um, I mean, it's not too difficult. It's a little, it's a little trickier, but it's not too difficult. And if you really can't, if you if you can't or don't have any um, charged soul gems, um, you know, soul gems with souls inside, you can buy them from vendors, and they're not too costly because we're only looking for common, lesser, or petty soul gems. They're the, the three kind of worse worser soul gems and they don't cost very much even with souls in them maybe um, a petty or a less is no more than maybe 50, 50 gold maybe I would say um, really not much m not much for them um, but I'm sure you guys will have found plenty of them around because I find them everywhere um, so then you just want to click craft now that will craft you a, a nice iron dagger with an enchantment and the enchanted with a with a soul gem. Um, the soul gem, because they're only smaller, it means that it will degrade the value of it very slightly, but um, it will still be worth a reasonable amount. Now you want to, like I said, enchant all of your daggers or as many as you can, depending on how many soul gems you have, um, and then travel to a shop. Um, now the shop vendors only have about one to two thousand coins on them. So you want to travel to various places around the world, or just travel to one place, sell as much as you can, then wait 24 hours and sell again. Um, a really good place, especially if you're lazy and you don't want to travel around, um, I would suggest is Whiterun, because there's three people who will buy your stuff for good prices in Whiterun. So you can sell to the three, and then wait 24 hours and sell to the three again, and they'll have the money back. So well, let's travel to White Run. Now, once you're on White Run, the first stop is the Smith right here. Um, the woman outside will buy your gear. The man inside will buy your gear. And there's another bloke elsewhere that I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's a good idea to have any any armor or potions that you have that give you better prices. Just put them on. You get a bit bit more money for your stuff, and uh, you know makes it slightly more worthwhile. Um, now, I can demonstrate that my speech skill is actually not good at all, you can see that, oh, went the wrong way, but um, you can see there that my speech skill is 29, so pretty rubbish to be honest, um, but my speech skill is 29, and I'm still getting a pretty good price for these things, so um, if you've got a better speech skill, if you've got any perks, I'm sure you, you could get more than I get for them for sure, um, but There's you want to speak to this woman? Things. And uh, you know, trade with her, and then you'll find your dagger that you enchant. Now, make sure it's the enchanted one. If you have any others, you don't want to be selling them because they're worth nothing. And I'm selling this one for 226 coins. Um, the iron, an iron ingot cost about 10, a strip of leather cost about 2, um, and a soul gem probably cost about 50 at most. I would say, I mean, I've got loads which I just found, so effectively that was nothing. And I've made 220 gold, so I made about 200 gold per dagger. And if you're thinking you're doing that with 30 daggers, 200 gold per per thing, you know, that's a lot of money. It's probably like, you know, many thousand. Um, I've got quite a bit of money doing this. And if you guys are struggling for money, this is a perfect way to do it. Um, like I said, you can sell to the woman outside the shop, you can sell to the man inside the shop, and there's also a shop just up the road who you can also uh, you can also sell to. And then you'll have lots of monies. So at the moment, I think I had about like 25 grand after doing it once or twice um, and just having collected money. Um, but it's a great way to get probably you know between five and ten thousand to go. Um, doesn't take too long, as you can see. That's effectively how long it takes. Ten minutes to do that. Obviously, I cut cut it down slightly, but it really takes not much time at all. And you can really get yourself a bit bit of money if you're struggling. Um, you know, if you don't have quite enough to get a house or um, buy some spell tomes or something like that. If you've just got some new spells to unlock, um, but it's just a, a neat way of quickly getting a lot of money. And I hope you found this video helpful. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.